everyone! How's it going? Autumn here from Studio 23 at my house with Marsha because she didn't want to be left out apparently. Can you say hi to everyone? This is Marsha. She's bad, but she's a sweetheart. Um, so we're going to be doing another project today. Um, I have a kids project for you that I thought would be nice for this kind of cloudy day we got going on. Um, we're going to do a watercolor resist and um, we're going to use crayons and just regular old Crayola watercolors that you probably have laying around um, or whatever brand, it doesn't really matter. Um, anything that you have laying around. Um, and if you don't have crayons laying around or watercolor um, paint laying around, um, I encourage you to get creative with it and see what you can create with what you do have laying around the house. Um, if you decide that you want to try one of our projects, we are asking you that you tag it, post it on social media and tag it with the hashtag Studio 23 on the go and share it with us so we can see all of the beautiful things that everyone out there is creating while we're all stuck in our houses. So you ready to get down? Okay, say bye. All right, so I thought really quickly I would just, uh, well, first say hi and say, how's it going? How's everyone doing out there? I know everyone's a little stressed right now, so maybe the first thing we do is take a big deep breath. Okay, and then maybe we'll do some art. Uh, this is what I'm working on right now, because I'm working on art for my house also. I'm working on some oil painting, which I love. Um, I take the oil painting class at Studio 23 with our instructor, Jim Perkins, and he's phenomenal. And he's really taught me so much about painting. So um, this is one of them that I'm working on. I'm working on some donuts because, well, because why not? Who doesn't love donuts? So this is one of my oil paintings that I'm personally working on. And I'm finishing up a little still life of just a little silver dish and this will be flowers but <laughs> it'll get there eventually um, but I, if you know when we get classes going again you know if you think oh that's cool I'd love to take oil painting that's another great class that we're offering and and, and I love it I, I enjoy that class a lot so anyway that's what I personally am up to um, and if you have any questions, you know, throughout this project, let me know and uh, we'll see if we can get some of it answered for you. Um, so I'm going to use a piece of watercolor paper. If you don't have watercolor paper around, I think that's okay. Um, you could, you could use a, a cardstock would work really well, or even just use, um, regular paper. You just want to make sure your student is um, going easy on the watercolor because the, the tendency with watercolor is that if you're with regular paper is if it gets too wet then you're just going to rip. You're going to go right through the paper. So any kind of thick paper would be great. Um, but again, maybe you want to experiment. Um, what if you just tried like paper towel? Although I know people are kind of being careful with their paper towel these days, but you know, just, just give it a try. Try and be creative with it. And if you try something different and, and it works out, let us know. We'd love to see it. Like I said, use the hashtag studio 23 on the go. But um, for this, I'm going to use just regular old uh, watercolor paper. Now um, to do the to do the actual drawing, we're going to use crayon, and I'm going to use a white crayon. So I know what you're thinking, white crayon on white paper, this is going to be really hard to see. And I get that. Um, what I used to tell my students when I used to do this project all the time is actually if you take your paper and your crayon and you kind of either crawl under the table or draw on maybe on the chair next to you, 
um, when you have a shadow there, it's a lot easier to see the white on the white. So that's just a little tip for you. Um, but to start with, we're going to use a crayon and I have a, a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, just a book or something would be great. But we're going to draw a, a horizon line. And a horizon line is just a, lot, a straight line that you're going to draw right from one side of your paper to the other. Um, we're, just don't make it right in the middle. It's, it's a little less interesting when you make it in the, right in the middle. So maybe if you could make it just a little bit higher up like that, that'd be great. So I'm going to draw my horizon line. All right. And you know what I'll do is I'll also show you on the back of this with a darker color so you can see exactly what, actually what I'm doing since you won't be able to see the white on white. So eh, maybe not there. Maybe we'll do it about here. Okay. So you're do so you're gonna do a horizon line, right? You maybe you want it here, maybe a little lower, up completely up to you, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is because we're making a rainy day, we're gonna we're gonna make some um, puddles. Now we want to make a lot of um, ovals, not circles. We want to make ovals and then smaller ovals inside. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. We're gonna fill the bottom of our paper with these. So see these ovals that I'm drawing and ovals inside of ovals all underneath my horizon line. Okay, so you're going to do that, but in white on the side that you're working on, white crayon on white. Okay, so I'm going to do that really quickly. So while I'm doing this, I'm just curious if anyone worked on the last project that we shared and uh, if you did how did it turn out we would love to hear from you we would love to see it if you'd like to tag us in it that would be great there's so many amazing artists out there we would love to see what you have going on okay so I have it done in white I know it's really hard to see but next what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the rain and um, the rain looks better when you use a ruler, uh, but again, you could use a, you know, be creative, use whatever you have around the house to make a straight line. But you're just gonna go right from the center of your oval and you're gonna make segmented lines. Um, another thing you could do to add a little bit of interest is have your segmented lines at an angle, like it's an actual storm. You could totally do that too. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll do that. All right. So here is an example for you. Remember, we're doing this in white on the other side, but I just wanted you to be able to see how it's going to look. Um, you want to have those lines going straight to the middle of those little almost puddles. I'm not sure what you really want to call them, but just like that, use your ruler. So I'm going to do that on the other side here with white. And actually, I'm going to do it on my chair next to me so I can actually see it. Because again, that's a great tip if you if you um, can't see, move under your table. Let's see. All right. Oh, here we go. I got a little bit of angle. I think I can see what I'm doing. So I'm just drawing on the rain 
and my rain's going all the way up to the edge of my paper. Um, don't forget to do that because we want it to look like the rain's coming from the sky. So I got my rain, I got my puddles, I got my horizon line, or the other side so you can see it. But now I want to make a rainbow. So I'm going to start a rainbow right from my horizon line, and it's going to go up and over to the side of my page. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And um, I'm going to do, since I'm doing a rainbow, I'm going to do the correct order. So if your kids don't know the order of the rainbow, it's a great time to great time to teach them. Um, I don't know. I still use the old fashioned Roy G. Biv to remember it. I don't know if you guys remember that one. Maybe not. Maybe I'm too old. <laughs> but um, I start it right at my horizon line. And I'm just going to do my red, my orange, my yellow, my green, my blue, oh, my purple broke, darn it, and my purple. Okay, we're just gonna fill them in. So see, just right from my horizon line, going up and over to the side, and then you're gonna fill it in. So I'll get it filled in really quickly. So I think I'm good to go. I have my horizon line, I have my rain, I have my puddles, you can't see those, and then I have my rainbow. So now that I have all that done in crayon, we're really going to make this pop. We're going to add our watercolor. And this is how it's going to be a resist because anywhere that you have drawn with the crayon, because it's wax, um, the watercolor it, or it'll actually resist the watercolor and it won't be covered by the watercolor. That's, that's called the resist, right? So um, I want to use um, just a regular old brush. Use whatever you have around the house. Um, again, if you don't have a brush laying around, get creative with it. What can you find to use, right? So um, I'm just going to first dip my brush in some water and I'm going to get my paper wet, right? And this part you can kind of go for it and get a little messy with it. Um, all right. Okay. Got my paper all covered with my water. Now I'm going to go in. I'm going to use blues, I'm going to use purples, and I'm going to use a little bit of black. Um, so it looks like it's a rainy day. Now the trick is also though, when you use black, go easy. You can always add more, but it's really hard to take away. So I'm going to take some blue, and I'm just going to start going in wherever. And start. There's some blue. Purple and some black. And I'm just going to start going for it and just start mixing it in. And 
And I'm going to cover my entire canvas with either the blues, the purples, or the blacks to make that rainy day. Now if you think your watercolor looks too thick on there and you're having a hard time seeing the white, you can always go in and pat away some of the watercolor. And I might have to do that on mine. I'm going to have to do that with mine, but Kind of getting crazy with it. I'm rubbing it in, seeing if I can move some of that around so you can see my white a little better. Ooh, I'm really getting some funky texture going on. Interesting. So, and this is all. My, what I'm using is Crayola, so I know it's safe to touch as long as I wash my hands afterwards. But um, just keep working with it. I'm going to keep working with mine. Um, you can start. I can start to see anyways. You might not be able to. But I can start to see some of the puddles down here on the bottom. Um, and I'm going to keep messing around with mine. Um, this is... A really fun really basic project you can do and you don't have to just draw this resists are really fun to do anyone can do it you can draw pretty much anything with them it's basically just getting a good layer of crayon down on the paper and then going over it with watercolor um, so that's my project today uh, if you have any questions let me know drop uh, comments and like I said um, if you work on any of our projects, please share it with us. We would love to see what you guys are working on. Uh, I know there's some really amazing artists out there. And um, if you want to just use the hashtag Studio23 on the go, then we'll be able to see what you're working on, maybe even share some of it. Um, and I'll be back with another project really soon. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.